if there's one thing that you dudes know how to do real well, it's make a nigga feel special. Yo, thank you all so much for the birthday wishes. And it's funny because I didn't even talk about my birthday too much. I didn't really want to put it on the forefront because I spent a lot of time working on things in the background. I didn't want to make it seem like, you know, I was taking advantage. Oh, birthday celebration, even though I was, you know, gone for a couple of days working on that Fire Emblem thing. But thank you all so much. I wasn't going to make a video talking about it initially, but you dudes came out so hard for your boy. And I, to be honest, I was gonna sweep it under the rug, but man, like, look at this shit. On fucking Twitter, everyone came through to wish your boy a happy birthday, and I'm so thankful to have friends and viewers like you guys, because it really makes me feel special, you know? And who doesn't like feeling special every now and then? I usually don't like to self-indulge that much, you know, I don't want to feel like I'm just, you know, gassing myself up, but you know, people really were coming out of the kindness of their hearts to wish me a really... Just, just a nice happy birthday, man. I, I really am thankful, guys. I'm, if you want to know, I'm turning 26 today, so I mean, yeah, I'm getting a little over the hill, but you know, I still got some, I still got some spring in my step. I'm still a young boy at heart. Let's go. But I mean, yo, guys, thank you all. I mean, there's a, there's a couple of things I don't wanted to show you guys too because people went above and beyond for this. Like these guys were doing these amazing like artwork pieces, and even my YouTube network, Broadband TGN, they came through and wished your boy happy. I gotta show you. There's also some porn on this timeline as well, so mind, there's gonna be some shit popping up. I'm gonna try to censor it on the way though, but Rasbowski, the big man himself, the, fr the, the fresh prince of FNAF, came through talking about happy birthday, mate, keep it sexy. Raz, I can never, I can never keep it as sexy as you do, my man. I'm just telling you straight up, bro. You know, Rasbowski, that nigga is my spirit animal. I'm just telling you all right now. My boy Ende, my nigga Ende, <laughs> that boy Ende, thank you so much, man. I can't wait to see you at EVO. If you're going to SmashCon, I'll see you there. I'm going to SmashCon as well, too. Thank you so much for the happy birthday wishes, man. We have WWW Wario. That's my goddamn boy. Big thanks to you, man. I never got to play Five Nights at Etika or do a lot of other stuff, but I still appreciate the fact that you you did something like that for me, and it just really is a special, warm kind of gesture from someone to you know include you in a fan game, especially when you're a pretty reputable game creator yourself. Thank you. Hayata Sujimo? Sujimo, I don't I, I really am not going to try that again because I don't want to look like a dumbass on camera, but thank you so much, man. And once again from WWW Wario, are you hiding something from us? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, <laughs> let's see here. Dear trainer. Now here's the thing, right? Oh, and by the way, you're welcome, man. Um, I really wanted to talk about the shirt thing, but there are so many other things that I had to do. I mean, there's a lot of topics that I need to address. Pokemon. The Leffen situation, and then I have to talk about the shirt stuff and a bunch of other things too, man. But you know, I'm gonna be able to get on top of all that now. And we have Anna Rui coming here with the motherfucking banner. Look at the art! Look at that shit! Got the Red Robin, the Red Robin hype on the right, the Kamui hype on the left. There's no better fucking picture out there. There's nothing that literally applies to me as well as this picture does. Thank you so much, and I'm gonna have everything here linked in the description so you can check it out for yourselves. This is fucking amazing. Art lyric like this, this comes, this, man, this, this is some rare shit, right? <laughs> this is so perfect. You know, if you don't know Anna Rui, she actually does a lot of um, Fire Emblem artwork. Um, she has a really poppin' Twitter where she usually puts up a ton of art pieces all the time. Amazing to see her progress as time goes on. I mean, I've seen like her artwork from like a year ago, and look at it now, and it's like, whoo! And look at that, that's clean, that's clean, that's fucking clean, I'm just saying, alright? I'm just telling you straight up, I'm being real. If you guys want to know what I did for my birthday today, by the way, I went to Times Square. Uh, we went to Nintendo World, just to look around a little bit, it wasn't like a fan meetup or whatever, but just went to kind of see what the new renovated Nintendo World looks like. A little underwhelming, but still cool, they have a big ass TV now. And we also went to this place that gives like these really professional high grade massages to help out like back pains and stuff. My girlfriend got one for me and it felt amazing. So really fun day for me. A chill kind of birthday. Next year will be the turn up. But this year, chill kind of birthday. Um, but yeah, stuff like this happening just makes it even sweeter. I'm so happy and thankful that people are willing to go to these lengths just to put a smile on my black ass face. Thank you all. Um, Ivan came through as well. Um, we have Coghog, Coghog, oh shit, my boy, man. He actually did some amazing genocide um, fan art for us, and he also did something else for me way back. It's been a little while, so I apologize if I don't remember exactly. But Coghog, excuse me, I said Cohog. <laughs> Cohog. <laughs> no, it's Coghog. Thank you. 
big time, man. Not just for this, but for everything else that you've done for your boy in the past. Because I didn't ask any of these guys to do any of this stuff. I mean, do you see the level of, do you see the level of fucking professional quality on this image? I didn't ask her to do this. She just did this out of the kindness of her heart. And that's where it's even more touching. The fact that they just said, hey, I'm just going to do this for Etika for his birthday. Fuck, man. You got, you got me fucked up. Y'all catching me in all kinds of crazy positions. I, I, I had to make this video. I had to say thank you. There was no way that I could see all this love and not talk about it. And then my boy CJ, Lolly Shot, <laughs> Lolly Brazen right there, came through with a very uh, suggestive kind of picture. This may not be one for the family, but I appreciate it nonetheless. He said, happy birthday, senpai. Sorry for being super poor. Take this picture that I edited for you for now. And I don't think, well, well, you guys won't be able to see it on your end, but I'll, I'll just be straight up. It's Robin giving giving a, a cock a tit fuck. The funniest part about this is that in the red Robin picture that he edited uh, this one out of, he made the cock black. <laughs> Come on. CJ is, a, <laughs> CJ is a pimp. That's a god right there. <laughs> CJ, thank you. I appreciate it, man. This one's going in the spank bank. <laughs> It's going straight in the spank bank, my boy. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Um, like I said, everything will be linked in, you know, maybe I can't link this, but I mean, you know, you, you guys already know. Hey, hey, thank you so much. And if you don't know who CJ is, Lolly Shy, Lolly Bryson, that is one of my squad members. And yo, this, this motherfucker's a goon. Like, there's been some instances beforehand where CJ took charge and he got answers for me when I needed them. Thank you so much for all that that you've done for me in the past as well, CJ. Um, and then Broadband TV. The network that I am partnered with hit me up with this picture talking about happy birthday Etika and it has my logo with an amazing backdrop that suits the style that my channel has been in for a while, that city theme. And they even had it a really cool twist that I've never tried yet, the, the whole um, city lights in the background streaking like a car driving and you see the streak of it in the headlights and in the backlights. And then they put Etika World Network in the same way that I do with the broadband TV logo down there and the happy birthday with the... Uh, it's amazing! My YouTube network is the most amazing YouTube network out there these niggas take care of me they take care of me they I mean they've taken care of me in ways that I can't even tell you like that's how serious it is broadman not only have you helped me but you've helped everyone around me in my life that I truly care about you know people that I love around me broadman has helped me to help them I can't express to you guys enough how thankful I am to have such an amazing YouTube network that goes so far and beyond to help me out, to do things for me. And to be honest, I really don't, I really don't ask them for stuff enough. Like, I mean, I feel like I, you know, because they said to me, hey, if you ever go into events, blah, 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 you should come through. And, and they, they've invited me to go out to certain things and, you know, they've offered me certain, you know, I just haven't taken them because I've just been so, you know, mentally, I've just been trying to get to a certain place where I feel comfortable with my production. So I, I still want to say a big thank you to Broadman. And they're so patient with me as well. Like, good God almighty. It's not like I'm a easy, I'm not the easiest partner to work with on this YouTube shit. I'm not. I, I realize I'm a very big perfectionist and I usually have my own way of doing things. And I, I, it's really hard to get me out of that once I have a opinion. I'm really solid in changing it, but they are so patient and they're willing to work with me and they've just been dealing with me all this time and plus they've just been helping me on top of it all and then they do something so sweet like this is this is really heartwarming to see a youtube network going this far in for your boy broadman i can't thank you enough thank you very much for the happy birthday wishes i appreciate it and then we have other amazing people too king timothy thank you so much happy birthday to you robin and corin get the fuck out of here king i'm tired of you <laughs> i thought that joke was dead bro and then NW Play, we have Nikki coming through talking about Hap Birth. Thank you very much, Nikki. Um, she's been doing a whole lot of work with the Wii U hacking scene lately. I've been meaning to try to um, read up on everything that she's been covering, but it's a lot of stuff to take into mind. But e eventually, I will. Because right now, the Wii U is a goddamn playground. Nintendo's focusing on trying to patch up the 3DS hacks, but on the Wii U side, it's candy for everybody, apparently. Um, my boy Ultra Nick 24 talking about happy birthday, my nigga. That's my nigga. My nigga. Oh, yo, we gotta go at another Smash match too. We went in a crazy, like, what, like a 20 game match at one point. It was pretty damn insane. He's pretty good at Smash Brothers, but I mean, you know. Um, we have Rakib as well talking about happy birthmas. 
and he's got a <laughs> I don't think I need to explain to you guys exactly what that means. We also have a Cario Beatbox. Oh, I met this guy at Paragon, I believe. This dude knows how to spit some beats out of it. He's one of, he's one of these niggas. Like, <laughs> one of those niggas, man. He goes in with it. Uh, Ak Aku, Akuario? Akuario? I'm probably not pronouncing that right, but thank you anyways, man. Um, Thug Yoshi, so many people coming through, man. We have Elusive Shades also showing up. Happy birthday wishes all around. Broadband even responded talking about, oh shucks, you, you niggas know what it is. Broadband, I don't have to remind you dudes. I wish I could have seen you guys at Paragon. I kind of fucked up there. Me and planning do not go together, but I'm going to be trying to change that. Um, overall, so much, so much love up here, man. So much goddamn love. Thank you all, big time. Mood Crush as well, talking about happy birthday, my boy. Why in the fuck does this exist? I don't know, but I, 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 sh I should be used to it by now. You know, I've already adjusted to my status as a living meme. Stuff like this shouldn't surprise me. But anyways, guys, I'm just gonna end this with a big thank you. You dudes are the ones that are the reason why my life is in the position that it is right now, and it's an amazing position to be in. Position to be in. Sure, it gets a little bit stressful sometimes. Sometimes there may be a bit more pressure than I like, but overall, I wouldn't trade this for the world. If you told me right now, Etika, I will give you a million dollars, just never touch YouTube again, I would spit in your face. Like, there's no way in hell I would take a deal like that. And it's all because, at the end of the day, what makes this worth it is not necessarily the money that you receive, or the ad revenue, or the donations, or the sponsorships, slash subscriptions on Twitch. What truly makes this worth it for me at least, is the interaction, the ability to post amazing work, high edited work, and just to be able to have that as a medium to give to give entertainment to thousands of people. That's what I really like about the whole thing. The money, that comes with the territory, but that's not the focus. And to be honest, that should be the way that a lot of you guys look at life. Don't go for it just for the money, but make sure that you have some peace of mind and that what you're doing is really what you love. Don't make it a job, make it a vocation, okay? Anyways, dudes, that's just my stupid piece of advice. I'll talk to you all later. I'll see y'all in the stream later tonight. Y'all see you when it goes up, man. Peace.